Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and we're going to take a look at some of the stocks in the marijuana sector. Uh, the f first up are going to be four stocks that are uh, big board plays. Uh, they trade on the, the big exchanges and uh, the, most of the stocks in the marijuana sector are over the counter, but there are a few that are big board plays and GWPH is considered the leader of the pack. Um, they they have the, uh, the highest share price and um, so far they've performed the best over, uh, over the course of the past few years. First up on the chart, you can see up here RSI is in the 50 to 70 bull zone. That is good. You've got Fasto in the 50 to 80 bull zone with the bullish crossover. That is good as well. Check out how uh, Plus DI is, is, has been bullish since this bullish crossover back here. Notice the, the bulls are being in control and the green line is above the red and black line. That is the signal the bulls are in control. And, and if you look at the chart here, uh, th there's been this uh, uh, uptrend that started back here on the second day of January. Notice the close above the middle bull Bollinger Band. That was your signal that that a possible new uptrend was starting. And when when a middle Bollinger Band breaks, you like to see a break above the 50-day simple moving average. And that happened. And now the 50-day simple moving average has turned into support. And notice the candles have been working their way sideways, but been making higher lows and making higher highs. And so what what we want to see here is we want to see the 50-day simple moving average hold. That's represented by this uh, gr green horizontal support line. And, and, and we want to see the middle Bollinger Band hold at 117. If 117, 118 hold. Holds, the uptrend should continue and the signal is to continue riding. If there's a break below and, and this 100-day simple moving average breaks at 116, this is a major support zone, then there could be a drop lower back down to this 109, 108 zone. So we want to see this key support zone hold. If it holds, we're thinking the uptrend continues and there's a push through this uh, ascending resistance line and a move back up to 134. Okay, so this is, this is, uh, um, it has got, uh, you know, good volume behind it. Um, what, once again you want to look for a volume spike there was a, a bearish crossover down here on MACD keep an eye on MACD you want to see a bullish crossover to signal that a new uptrend has started or not a new uptrend but that, that, that this uh, uh, because back here uh, on this MACD there, there was on this time frame there was a bullish crossover and this signaled the new time frame look how the bullish crossover uh, on the uh, on the 12 26 and 9 uh, and it also crossed over here on the 8 13 and 5 but notice how the 12 26 and 9 crossed over the same time the middle Bollinger Band broke that was your signal that a new uptrend was starting so uh, if you see a bearish crossover the, bl the black line crossed the purple line to the downsides that's going to be a red flag so you want to see the signal line stay above the the uh, MACD line Okay, now let's take a look at CARA. CARA is another uh, marijuana ticker, and um, notice the uh, FASTO or RSI has been in this 50 to 70 bull zone for the last few weeks. It's been cruising as this uptrend's been going on. Notice the stock has been heading higher above 80 on FASTO. Notice that this is, happened back here in the in the past. It had higher above 80, and then notice that that RSI has been above 70 before in the past. That that signal it was getting heated, but but it did push through there. So that does show that there is more room to run here. Now, uh, the, the, just like GWPH, the, the CARA chart has been bullish since this uh, crossover here on ADX, and then uh, this break above the middle Bollinger Band. Notice how the middle Bollinger Band turned into support, and the candles are riding the EMAs four and eight support higher. Those were all signals that that there was this uptrend starting. Notice the parabolic star; the dots flipped below the candles when the middle Bollinger Band turned into support. That was another signal. Now, what's going on is there is this high close back here on the 16th of November and the candles are working their way back up to that level. That level is currently being tested now. If there's a break above this 1225 level, we're thinking there will be a breakout higher. Fail to break that level, and the middle Bollinger Band will likely be tested. If the middle Bollinger Band breaks and this 50-day simple moving average breaks, you could see a drop down to the lower Bollinger Band and the 100-day simple moving average. This is a very strong uptrend. Look how the candles are, are, are being walked up. So it, the, the signal for swing traders when you see this pattern is just to continue riding. Um, what we'll be looking for for a breakthrough resistance is a bullish volume spike. Notice how the volume has been very average, the same height. And notice the spike down here signaled the start of this run. So keep an eye out for a bullish volume spike. Uh, these bullish crossovers on MACD signal the start of the run. Okay, now let's look at another ticker symbol, INSY, another big board marijuana play. There are big board plays out there. Okay, and so uh, this one right here is uh, at below 50 on RSI, below 50 on FASTO. So, so the chart is not 
not bullish right now on those indicators. There was a bearish crossover on ADX. Notice the green line crossed the red line to the downside. That is a bearish. You want to see the green line cross the red line back. Uh, the, the green line have a bullish crossover and cross back to the upside. Um, what's going on here on the chart is there, there was this big pullback down to nine support and down to the uh, down to this uh, lower Bollinger Band where notice how the candle started trading sideways and there was this uh, sideways trend off of this uh, what we call a load candle okay so the, the, this lower wick right here and this this big candle that that big volume bar that that is telling you that that bounce players were loading. Notice that the share price has been heading higher ever since that big load. This was the people. This was the big money getting in. They was getting at the bottom, and now they're riding it higher. And so what happened was right here there was a bullish crossover or a, a move above the middle Bollinger Band. Notice how there was a break. There was this horizontal resistance, and there was a break above on this day. This was your signal that it was ready to head higher. And so when INSY got above the middle Bollinger Band, this is when this new uptrend started. Ran up to the 50-day simple moving average pulled back found support off of the EMAs ran back up to the 50 again double top this is a double top at the 50 now it's pulled back and it's bounced off of the 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 uh, middle Bollinger Band okay and a bullish reversal pattern has formed this is a uh, a uh, bullish Hermy reversal pattern. So check this out. It's a white candle inside of a black or red candle that's signaling uh, a, a, a possible change in trend. And so what we want to see now is we want to see bullish reversal confirmation. Another white candle through the midpoint of this candle is going to signal a bullish reversal confirmation. You want to see a close above the EMAs 4, 8, and 13. That, what we think is going to do, is going to send a run back up to this 50-day moving average. If it can break the 50, then it could run up to the 100. So we want to see a close above the 50 for the push to the 100. We're thinking that the middle Bollinger Band should hold here. Um, the, the, the marijuana stocks have been trending up. This is the bottom of the uptrending channel, the middle Bollinger Band, and so that should be a key support level hold. Once again, look for a bullish volume spike. You do not want to see a bearish crossover here. There was a bearish crossover on the 813.5 MACD. You want to look for a bullish crossover to single the, the uh, change in trend there. Um, check it out here on ZYNE. Here's another uh, marijuana stock. Um, th this one here is bullish on RSI. It's holding 50. It's above 52. You want to see that level hold. Okay, Fasto broke below below 50. All right, we want to see this black line cross the red line to the upside. That will, that will be bullish. Um, there was a bearish crossover here on ADX. Okay, that's a red flag. You want to see the green line cross the black line back to the upside. There was a parabolic SAR uh, bearish flip. Notice how the candles, the dots were below the candles. That when the share price hit this this level, the dots they flipped above. Now now the, that 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 was a, a a signal that there could be a change in trend. And so what happened was the the share price on that day came down and uh, hit the um, the middle 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 Bollinger Band here and. Um, when it hit the middle Bollinger Band, there was this huge load. Look at the giant volume bar here. Huge volume, three and a half million shares. And so uh, that that big volume bar there was telling you that that players were possibly loading for for the next push higher. That's that's a lot of volume. Check out it dwarfs all these other other volume bars. And so uh, it, when this hit the top and there was a close above the upper Bollinger Band that signaled it was frothy. There was a big gap down. I'm not sure why it gapped down. Um, there might have been a reason for that. Uh, I'm just looking at this chart technically. Technically, technically speaking, the, the middle Bollinger Band has been holding. Notice back here, there was a break above the middle Bollinger Band back here in November, and then it held when it got tested. When it broke below, it, it dropped to the 50-day simple moving average. That's where it found support. It got back above the middle Bollinger Band. Notice on these other attempts to break middle Bollinger Band support, it held. So if the middle Bollinger Band here holds, there should be a bounce. This is the bottom of the channel. If it, if it holds, there should be a bounce and a run back up here to the top. If, if it fails in, in, in the, the upper Bollinger Band is always the, the tough resistance level to break when you're, when you're bouncing off the middle Bollinger Band, that's always the next target. And um, if, if the middle Bollinger Band breaks, there could be a drop down to this 50 day simple moving average. So keep an eye out for that. Um, that, that, that happened back here. If that happens, um, that could turn out to be another good load opportunity. I'm thinking here with this uh, big uh, bu bullish, uh, th this big volume bar here, that it's likely to bounce soon. Um, it does look like this, uh, the, 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 the low of day looks slightly above the low of day here. So, I mean, it looks like swing point number three is forming. We'll have to see. Okay, and then the last stock to look at here is going to be MCIG. 
this is actually a penny this is actually a, a penny stock on the the over the counter and uh, they re released uh, news today about uh, after hours reduction in shares and so uh, keep an eye on this for a potential move tomorrow um, what you want to see here is EMA's uh, 4 8 and 13 support hold you uh, there was a bounce off of EMA 13 this uh, it, it, uh, th this candle here on the 17th the the close here at 40 is the key level to break if there's a break above 40, 40, that then it could run up to 50. That 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 would be the next level to break. Um, we'll see how it responds to the to the news about having the the share reduction. Um, if you uh, look here at the um, at this uh, weekly chart here, um, you can see the potential of where this could head potentially is uh, you know this was the high back here the high close back in the uh, 2014 and that appears to be what's going on it looks like the the this jar has been filling back to prior resistance levels so uh, yeah this will smooth out here yeah so check that out so so look how the candles dropped all the way down to a bottom and then uh, found support down here and then slowly but surely the candles have been working up look there's a higher low now it's broken out higher low and now it's coming up uh, you know there's a good chance that it continues working higher and fills this jar to this past 2014 resistance level uh, there's huge volume down here look at the volume uh, giant volume so there's big money but pushing this move higher and um, it, it would, if you see a break below EMA4, EMA4 has been holding. If there's a weekly close below that level, you could see a drop down to EMA8. Notice how the candles are riding EMAs 4 and 8 support higher above the middle bone demand. This is a very strong uptrend. Okay, if you like uh, checking out these charts, if you like the marijuana sector and you want to learn more about charts and technical analysis, or you just like uh, updates on uh, uh, on the charts, and um, we also do uh, post uh, daily alerts and um, charts and technical analysis in our chat real time during the trading day. Okay, hey, thank you very much for viewing this chart. Check us out at mychartcoach.com and our YouTube channel at mychartcoach.com. Thank you.